please immediately stop this cooking method. It will take a toll on your body. In kitchens worldwide, aluminum foil is a common sight, often used for wrapping food during cooking. Its convenience and heat conductivity make it a popular choice for baking and preserving the moisture and flavor of dishes. However, there's a growing concern about the safety of cooking with aluminum foil, especially when it involves high temperature processes like baking. The primary issue lies in the nature of aluminum as a metal. While it's abundant and widely used, it's important to remember that aluminum is a potentially toxic substance. This toxicity largely remains under the radar because aluminum is not inherently harmful in small amounts. However, the danger arises when it's used in cooking, particularly at high temperatures, as is the case with baking. When food is cooked or wrapped in aluminum foil, the metal can leach into the food. This leaching is more pronounced when the cooking involves acidic foods like tomatoes or citrus, or when spices are used. The high temperature of an oven exacerbates this leaching process. The amount of aluminum that seeps into food is significantly higher when foods are cooked in foil as opposed to those that are not. The health implications of this aluminum exposure can be concerning. Although our bodies can handle small amounts of aluminum effectively, consistent exposure over time can accumulate to toxic levels. This is particularly troubling given that aluminum has been linked to several health issues. Studies have suggested a correlation between aluminum exposure and Alzheimer's disease, although no definitive cause and effect relationship has been established. Moreover, excessive aluminum intake has been associated with bone diseases and reduced growth rate in children. While the human body possesses a robust detoxification system capable of handling certain levels of toxins, excessive aluminum exposure can overwhelm these defenses, leading to a condition known as aluminum poisoning. The body's detoxification system, primarily involving the liver and kidneys, plays a critical role in filtering out and eliminating toxins. In the case of aluminum, however, the metal can accumulate over time, particularly when the intake exceeds the rate at which the body can eliminate it. This accumulation can occur from various sources, including dietary intake, environmental exposure, and use of aluminum-containing products. Mount Sinai Hospital has highlighted that prolonged exposure to aluminum can lead to its buildup in tissues. Potentially resulting in toxicity, aluminum poisoning manifests through a variety of symptoms, reflecting the metal's impact on different body systems. Muscle weakness and bone pain are among the most common symptoms, suggesting an interference with muscular and skeletal health. This can be attributed to aluminum's affinity for bone tissues, where it can replace calcium, leading to weakened bone structure and pain. Neurological symptoms such as seizures and confusion point to aluminum's potential impact on the brain and nervous system. These symptoms can range from mild cognitive impairments to severe neurological disorders. Research has suggested that aluminum may contribute to neurodegenerative diseases. Although a direct causal relationship has yet to be conclusively established, in children, excessive aluminum exposure is particularly concerning due to their developing bodies and organ systems. Delayed growth and development issues are notable in children with high aluminum exposure, as the metal can interfere with the normal development processes. Moreover, there is evidence suggesting that aluminum exposure in utero can lead to developmental abnormalities and defects in embryos highlighting the risks even before birth, anemia, and respiratory problems are other health concerns associated with aluminum poisoning. Anemia may arise from aluminum's interference with iron absorption, affecting red blood cell production. Respiratory issues can result from inhalation of aluminum dust in occupational settings, leading to pulmonary complications. The potential health risks associated with excessive aluminum exposure are multifaceted, affecting various bodily systems. While the human body is equipped to handle certain levels of toxins, the cumulative effect of aluminum can lead to significant health problems. Understanding and mitigating exposure sources is vital for maintaining long-term health and preventing the adverse effects of aluminum poisoning, you need to use items and consume foods that don't contain this type of metal. And if you are using aluminum pots and dishes, replace them immediately with the ones made out of cast iron. And the most important thing, 
you should never fry or bake food wrapped in aluminum foil. Also, try to avoid processed and packed foods, because many food companies use aluminum as a food preservative, you should always eat fresh, organic food and raw vegetables. Just follow these simple tips and advices and you'll be able to prevent aluminum poisoning. We really hope you enjoyed this video, and please share it with your friends and family. Thanks.